Hey guys, welcome to Ami's Punjabi Cooking USA. Today we are making something that I love, vegetable fritters or pakoras as they're known. All right, let me show you the ingredients that we are specifically going to use today. Cauliflower I have right here. We have eggplant right here. Potatoes right here. Some onions. Graham flour. Water, this depending on how much you're going to make accordingly. Vegetable oil in a deep pan or a wok. All right, then we have some salt to taste right here. We have some pakora masala right over here that we add in. Okay, and then we have ajuan, which is carom seeds right there. All right, so now, you know, it might not look that exciting. Okay, so you got an eggplant, a cauliflower, you know, it's these are some boring things, but the way we're gonna put it together, it's gonna be really exciting. And there's one more ingredient that I have to show you, which is right here. This here is a mouse, okay? So it has, you know, you can press it this side, that side. If you press the left side on the subscribe button and smash it down, boom, you can subscribe. Also, if you feel like it, you could throw a like on it. And if you hit the bell notification, you'll get a notification every time we make a new video. Okay, guys, let's get down to it. Okay, I'll cut all the ingredients and I want you to see why I cut them different shapes. This is eggplant. I cut it in half and then and make the slices not very thick because when the batter is on them, they, it has to be cooked inside also. So cut it like quarter inch or thereabouts each piece. Now you see the potato is cut round and is thin, about the same size as the eggplant. Now the cauliflower, cut the florets, but don't cut them all too small. See, they are different sizes, but to keep the flowers whole. And the onion has to be cut lengthwise. They are long. And I'll tell you why. When all these uh, uh, pakoras are done, the fritters are fried, what happens, you put them in a platter and you have company and people have their favorites. Somebody wants onion pakora, somebody wants eggplant. What they do, they touch it and see, oh, I don't want this. And they change it. And I cannot stand it. Don't touch the food that you're not going to eat. So I cut them different shapes. You know this shape is eggplant. You're going to, you know it's eggplant. Most people know it. And the round one is gobi, the cauliflower. Uh, the floweret is go uh, cauliflower. And the round one is potato. And the long one is onion. So you don't touch everything. You know your favorite, you pick it up and you eat that. Now we're going to make the, the batter. This is uh, vesan. You always remember to sift it because otherwise it can uh, Now become that's gram flour. Gram flour or vesan. Uh, you have to sift it, otherwise it can become lumpy and you don't want any lumps in your uh, batter. Uh, you can. You don't need to make two cups. I'm making a lot of them today, so I'm using two cups. The consistency. I'm not telling you how much water because I'm not sure. We'll. I'll tell you as we go along, and I might not use all two cups. Maybe I'll save a little. The consistency should be almost like your, let's say, the McDonald's uh, milkshake. About that kind of consistency. That will give you a very nice covering of batter on your vegetables. Now, if you want the batter thinner, you don't want the vegetables covered thickly, although this is not too thick, then you make the batter a little bit thinner. All right, now I'm going to add the salt, the ajwain. This was two teaspoons salt to taste and two, spoon, two, 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 two teaspoons of pakora masala. Uh, which uh, I I did not make that. It comes ready in a, in a box. You can use any brand. There's so many brands, and it gives very nice enhances the flavor. Okay, mix all these up. Now, as you see, I didn't use all two cups. I think it's one and three quarter cups. Okay, add the water slowly, and keep mixing it. And while I'm doing this, the heat, uh, the oil is heating. I put it on already on low. It takes a little while to heat. And you need, because it's going to be deep fried, you need um, a fair amount of oil. What I do at the end of it, because the oil should not be reheated because it gets homogenized. Um, so what I do at the end of it, you know I make masala, onion masala. So 
I will make onion masala in the same oil, which are whatever is left over. Now, when you're making, uh, frying the pakoras, remember to put the, make the onions at the end because onion tends to leave a little bit of water. Uh, so the, the, this batter becomes thin. So I'll do the other vegetables, the eggplant and the potato and the cauliflower before. I need a little bit more water. I'm going to put the heat up also because you need re the oil should be really really hot okay the batter is ready I stirred it for a few minutes I added a little bit more water and as you can see the consistency it is like your milkshake you know see this now with this I'm not wearing gloves my hands are clean I have to use my hands you dip it in here one at a time and put it in the heated oil the oil has to be really hot. Now keep putting them in. I'll make potato first and then, as I said, onion will be the last one. And these come out really, really delicious. Okay, you see the color is changing now. So the ones that I put in first, I'll turn them over first. And then you know which ones you first put first by the color. So turn them over gently. It takes a little time. Obviously these are the ones that I put in at the end, so they're not done yet. So we're going to, you just need to turn it once. These are, this side is done. And I'm going to wait till the other ones are done and then we'll take it out. Okay, you can see these are beautiful golden color. They are done nicely and I'm sure the potatoes are done inside also. Now I'm going to take them out. Make sure you drain the oil completely and put them on a paper towel so the excess oil is uh, drained off. Mm, they smell really good. Okay, the potato is done. The next is cauliflower. Same thing, you dip it in and put it in the oil, hot oil, which is sizzling as you can see. Keep putting them in as the, as the pan is full. And the ones that you put in first, you turn them once, only once, and you know they are done. As the potatoes I only turn once and then you know when they are done. Okay, the cauliflower is done beautifully and you cannot mistake the because of the shape. You know this is cauliflower, it's round. The florets are coming round. Very nicely done. And again, put it in the paper towel to drain the excess oil. Okay, next up is eggplant. And you will be able to tell from the shape, this is eggplant. You won't be sort of going in the plate and touching everything to see what's what. This shape, the moon shape is eggplant. So I'm going to do this to the entire plate and we'll take it out when it's done. Okay, you see all these half moon shapes. These, this is all eggplant. And remember, I only turn it once and when the color changes on the other side and you know it's done. So you have to control the heat. And always put it on paper towel to drain off the excess oil, although I'm trying to drain it here also, but there's still it's deep fried. Mm, those are licking really, really good. Okay, finally, we have the onions here. Just break them up a little bit, mix it, because you want them separate. And 
And again, when the pan is full, I'll turn them just once by the color when, they, when the color changes. And we'll take it out. Okay, see the onions are done really nicely. These are done, I'm gonna take them out. These get done a little bit quicker because uh, they are thinner and they don't take that long to cook. Mmm, really nice. All right, let's try. Let's see what the finished product looks like over here. Here I have my plates with the assorted pakoras. We have a bangin. We have, that's eggplant. The potato. The cauliflower. And the onion. All right, let's see now. I have some ketchup here, and I, I like to dip it in ketchup. I also like to dip it in the chutney which you can see the video on coriander and chutney that my mom makes homemade. All right, let's check it out. Let's check this out. This is the onion first. Man, dude, that's good. Now that is a belly bomber, a belly bomber. Hold on, let me see. A little chutney, and I mix it with a little ketchup too, why not? All right, let's see the, how the eggplant is. Man, that's a five star, that is a five star. Guys, if you're gonna make this, leave a comment in the video below and let us know how it came out, okay? And also, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. This is a belly bomber city. It's gonna feel so good. I've been thinking about this for three days. All right, so guys, enjoy.